Hey guys, welcome back to Light Plays Dragon Quest VI Realms of Revelation. We're going straight into it from the previous episode, so this these are all... Um, this and the next few are going to be probably pre-recorded. I might do like three episodes a day. That was weird. That's creepy. Okay, so we're starting the Smash Timer, picking my new favorite stage, the Mario Maker stage. It's amazing because... Every time I look at it, it's going to be something different, so it's always unpredictable. It's not looking at the same thing all the time, like my custom stages were. Alright, so... Let's go speak with Ella, then. As best we can. Because last time we were playing... Why would you lock her in with the treasure chest, by the way? Anyway, so that failed. I don't know, let's just head straight to, um... Where we're supposed to be going, which is down here. You're not told about this, you just have to kind of know. A baby coil. Shouldn't we have he been healed with that, um, the next day business? Oh, it's just slimes. Hey, slime, it's your brother brethren. You can't see it, but he's quivering with joy. <laughs> How does he know exactly what we're looking for if he can't see or hear us? If he can only feel a warmth. How does he know who the person is? Priests are game breaking to this immersion. All right, first thing we're doing is we're going to to the end. Okay, so we have to go through this door. So, unlike the original place, you actually do have to interact with this, even if you can't be seen or heard. It sort of breaks the illusion, though. I'm not a fan of it. Round two! Wow, we actually got a little bit further. Dome shields are freaking annoying in Dragon Quest Nine. I wonder. I forget what they're like in this game, though. Well, that first one's annoying. It's good to see that Carver actually has a weapon, though. I mean, the Stone Axe was good, was well and good, but the Iron Claws are a bit better. And I'm pretty sure, like the Iron Claws, are like something that can carry him through that most of the game. I tried to jump ahead again. I really gotta stop doing this. It's my it's my fault for actually knowing what's gonna happen in the game. Because I freaking love this game. And I, even though I forget like some of the previous instances. The reason why is because Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. We done the mirror. The next day. Yeah. We just have to go to the shipyard. This is where you learn about the story. Doesn't this per person look familiar? Oh, hello there. Hello. Yes, you. I'm not speaking to myself, you know. I'm waiting for you. I'm Millie. You can hear me, can't you? Hee <laughs> hee. You seem a little disoriented, perhaps, because I can see you? If you're wondering why I'm the only person who can see, then I can enlighten you, but you'll have to come with me. I'll be waiting for you outside town. There's our explanation, everybody. The only person in this thing we recognize, first of all, because I was in the opening. Second of all, 
Uh, Carver suggests talking about the church. That's to say, but we already saved in the last episode. Millie, unlike Carver and I, aren't phantoms. She's from this world. As a result, she's human, or at least can be. She's pretty much human. She can be seen and heard in this world, as opposed to us, because we came from that other place. The place where you fall through the hole and then go into a well to go back up somehow. It all makes sense eventually. Maybe she can access this chest behind the gold thing. I bet there's nothing in them though. They're just for design. Oh, there's the game. Alright then, please follow me. You see, I knew what to do! That well's a bit dangerous at this moment. Well, here we are. Millie, you're back. Mm -hmm. No surprise in one who sees all. Yes, the crystal did not did speak of your return and your success. Yes, Madame Luca, I found them. It was exactly like you said it would be. Allow me to introduce you to Luca Luministra, the Dream Seer. She's been looking forward to your arrival. Mm -hmm. And for quite some time, you two are light and carver. Yes. <laughs> Don't look me looking so stunned, you boys. You must be wondering why Millie and Madame Luca can see you. Yes. I must be wondering why Madame Luca speaks to herself in the third person. I'm particularly talking about right there. That word. <laughs> I just like doing that, really. I'm literally right next to it. I should just interact with it a bit more like that, but it's like, hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, one second. That was my nose yelling at me. If you saw the last part, you'll understand why. You must be positively perplexed. Yes. Regardless, you simply wish to get on with your mission. That's not what I said. Mm hmm. That's it. You've been sent to search for Rosmir, yes, on the orders of King Somnus of Somnia. Well, you will never accomplish anything if you look like nothing. Hee ha. After all, you must be seen or heard, and heard in order to buy a ferry ticket to Samia. Madame Luca can make it happen. You must have patience, little lambs. Preparations must be made, and fate runs on its own schedule. So for now, let's be calling it a day. Just because Madame Luca is a dream seer doesn't mean she can sleep on the job. The rest can wait until tomorrow, and speaking of rest, good night! And suddenly, we're asleep. Hey, you up yet? How can you sleep in a time like this? That lady gives me the willies. Guess we'll have to hear her out, though. It's not like anyone else we can turn to. I held the right button. And I guess it technically was my character's right at that time. A Lucidia shard! Or a Lucida shard. That's a uh, crafting item in Dragon Quest IX. I forget what it does specifically. Whatever it is, we can't use it. We can also be used as a tool during battle. An accessory. It seems to increase the style and worn. It also has a special effect when used as an item in battle. It can be used over and over again. And there's nobody in the party who can equip it at the moment. And there's no shopkeepers who would buy it either, so we can't sell it. That's your interesting little uh, thing called Peep, which lets you examine an item and tells you what it can do. If it can be used multiple times, or one time, and what the price would be. Fully awake, are you? Madame Luca rises with the sun while you young fool waste the day in bed. Wisdom comes with age, yes? Anyway, enough lectures from old Luca Luministra. You have things to find and pe things to do and people to see, and you ne need to be seen to get anything done, yes? Yes. Becoming visible in this world requires a substance known as dream do. Often uses dream do in her work, but her supplies are low at the moment, and in non-existent. The only place to acquire more is in the little cave to the south called the Lucid Grotto. Get it? Like a lucid dreaming? 
But recently, the grotto has become infested with horrible creatures. Madame Luca is a dream seer, not a dream warrior. And the danger is too great for Millie to face alone, yes? So Madame Luca is thinking that you go and fetch the dream dew for her. Oh no, I'm not falling for another of these back-scratching scenes. You're not the boss of me, lady. Ah, but it is not Madame Luca who escapes the orders here. It is the dream crystal. Madame Luca just works here. Also, you need the dream dew just as much as Madame Luca does. You scratch Madame Luca's back, as you say, and she will make yours visible. ha -hee! So it all makes sense. Yes, ready for a quick trip south to the Lucid Grotto? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You made up your mind for Madame Luca, yes? We will travel south to the Lucid Grotto and dream the, the dream dew for Madame Luca. Simple, yes? Yes. Fear not, little lambs. Madame Luca is setting back up. Millie, you will travel with them. And that is not all. Please take these lovely parting gifts. I got ten minutes of herbs. Travel safely, little lambs. We will, Madam Luca. Thank you. Well, shall we get going then? I'll try my best to be of assistance to you. And now we have Millie on our party. It's back to the original crew that we saw for like a half a second. Oh yeah, we can't give Millie anything because she's not technically a party member yet. Anyway, this thing. This thing. This thing. What's the status of our party members? Let's do it. This is going to be a long fight. I don't want the music to get too much. Hey, this one, this song seems a bit accurate. I've already decided that this is going to be the music I'm playing for the final boss. I'll let it play out. I like this song. Actually, no, I don't think I can. Sorry. Anyway, so that was called Nightmare. The acoustic edition. I'll drop you a link as to the as to the, the um YouTube video I got. I heard it from originally. 
But how about that off of iTunes? Anyway, this is why we, we went after that. That's kind of loud. Here we go. This item can be used for car um, for light, but it's an especially strong upgrade for Carver. For light, it's pretty much the exact same. It doesn't help him at all. For Carver, on the other hand, it raises his defense and his style, as opposed to just his style, and it's actually a really useful upgrade for him, and it makes him go faster. That's actually a big point. I believe it makes him go faster. I think that's how it works. Anyway. Here's a Lucid Grotto. And with that comes... Okay, so we start there, we get that, we go there, we get that, we go there, we get that, we go there, get that, and that, and then we go there, and we get that. Okay, so I know what we're going to be doing. We're heading down, and I instantly forget where we're going. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I just recognize where we're going. Okay, so you can actually go through there. That's something you want when you have a cut on your lip. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have a cut. That was just extremely sour. That one gold. Yes, 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 and yes. Ow. Thank you, Millie. You notice Millie has a very large amount of magic reserve. That's because she's more of a magician than, a, than an attacker. Actually, her uh, name... We have Village Lad, we have Roaming Warrior... Millie's considered mysterious girl. She stays that way for most of the game, I believe. <sighs> this game has a lot of subplots. It's actually kind of nice. It's not like the linear things, like Dragon Quest IX, where everything that you do is just like open and shut almost. With a very long underlying story arc. Oh, I guess I never told you the uh, Smash contestants. We had so we have Sonic, Lucario, Lucas, and Ganondorf. I just realized that. Uh, for them, it's we still have like twelve minutes left. So sorry, but at least you guys know who to vote for. I'm thinking of setting one of the one of the uh, characters to permanent, whichever one's the fan favorite. So, cast your votes in the comments below. Who you want to see represent the fans or the fan base in the Smash timer? You can choose any character. I should really say. I should really heal. Carver has health. Millie's. Okay. Please. 
Please die. Please die. We're out of here. Why is Millie alive? Do you have a resurrection spell? You don't. But you do have a heal spell. I'm gonna get this treasure chest and then I'm gonna exit. You were like halfway there. I think this can work indoors. Nope. Well, that was a waste. I think. No, nope, that wasn't a waste. Okay. I'm recording a different video file so I can actually see what episode I'm I'm uploading without having to name them individually. <laughs> kind of smart. Because for some reason this thing defaults to FLV. I guess it's like that's the Twitch comment the Twitch default because I'm using the OBS streaming and recording software combi combination which is what I do when I'm uh, streaming but I use like an FLV format so I change it over to MP4 And I was speaking about that, which shows clearly I have nothing left to talk about. Let's try this again. This time we're going to use Zoom. Because it only costs 1 MP. Let's go to Port Haven. I just realized how bushy my eyebrows are on camera compared to my eyes. It's actually kind of funny. For some reason, Millie doesn't come with us when we go into towns. Alright, so we're only missing one item, two items, I think we're missing like two items for this thing. Because we did get the gold, right? I'm just going to save. Go ahead and overwrite it. Yes, I intend to continue my journey. I'm gonna get some lunch after this episode. You may be seeing me eating in the next episode. Sorry about that, but I've already been mentioned many times that I'm as unprofessional as can be. As a result, I don't care. I should think it's gonna have to go food shopping instead. Either one, really. Wow, it seems Carver's the only one who can actually damage these guys. Good thing I got that those iron claws. I like to imagine that the boomerang hit his shield and it, the reverberation is what killed him. Oh, don't start skipping now. I 
shouldn't be a problem here, right? There is going to be a problem here, apparently. Metal slimes are in this game. And we're in the dungeon where they start showing up right now. I could have sworn I was right next to the microphone when I said that. I said metal slimes are in this game and we're entering the dungeon that they're in. For some reason that didn't register on my mic though. So I just got really creepy for no reason. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just looking at the OBS for screen ridges right there. I really should just keep defaulting to this one though. Because this is direct feed. I'm not sure if we got gold or not. I saw him right. Okay, we got it. Move off this way. There's nothing to the south. My personal bonus for Lucario, because he's my favorite Pokemon. Alright, this is starting to look weird. Uh, I think we take the... Yeah, we go up. Good thing, too, because it stopped right there. <laughs> this seems to remind me of Marsha, a NPC mud mannequin from the Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2 game. Why did Millie have to tag along anyway? I mean, it's nice and all, but apparently we don't need her. I'm level 10! We got a bronze knife! That'll come in handy later. I, th I don't think we can even use it, though. Can we? No. Yeah, that'll come in useful later. Let's send a flying knee to the slime knight. Ouch. Now nah, she'll heal herself. Or she'll cast buff like an idiot. Does, does this game have a heal all mechanic under miscellaneous? Yes, it does. Excellent. I'm going to blow my nose again. Oh, that was Genesect. I just saw a green bar across the screen. And now we head. Ooh, there's something over this way. There it is, everybody. Let's kill it. Oh! Why? Nice. 
a fur cape. Can Carver use it? This is pretty much what's going to happen every time I do something. Okay, so I can use it or Carver can use it. Carver already has extremely high defense, though, so I'm going to take it my, for myself. Hey, look at that. It looked really cool with that. No, don't discard it. This isn't Twitch plays. I don't do that. We can give Carver the, uh, this in exchange for his leather kilt, because apparently this is better than leather kilt. There. Don't start skipping. Hey! Lucario won! Followed by Ganondorf! Then Sonic and Lucas in fourth place. Well, then Sonic, then Lucas in fourth place. Not both of them together. Kill this thing. This thing is the major enemy. There we go. I wanted to kill that the other guy first because he had Sizz. A magic attack that can affect all as opposed to just crack, which can only affect one person. Alright. That's that. Let's go. So tasty. These drops are delicious. You want to swing the drops too? Swig the drops. But these drops are so tasty. I don't I don't think I want to share them. Why was that clear? In fact, I'd rather have a nice snack to go with them. You guys look tasty enough. Is that supposed to be a lift? I said it that way on purpose. It's a lisp, I know. Let me have a bite. Chomp. Chomp. Well, I guess we can always play that, that song again. Because I kind of like that song, and I think it goes well with this theme. Just dream, just sleep, just sleep. Dazzle. Let's drop its defense more. He has absolutely no defense anymore, apparently. This should be the last turn. Or, or it's very close. Yep. This isn't fair, no we know just what we see. The fly that our souls attract inside, and the game that you 
playing with close to high Just leave, just leave It's only a nightmare and soon we'll be set free I really like the music. I bought it off of iTunes. It's called... I think I already said this. It's a Nightmare of the Acoustic Edition. And I will place... I will um, put the link to the video that's from in the chat. That's a chat. In the uh, description. So now we have the Dream Do. Which means we have to make the entire trip back. Wrong way! Kind of different, eh? <laughs> what we just heard. Kill them all. Hey, Carver's level 10. And for some reason, Millie keeps coming back. Let's heal up one last time. Wrong person. Carver was fine. We were not. One more each. There we go. That should be enough. For everyone whose health is in the 80s, 50 to 70 is pretty good. See, yeah, I recognize that we had to go right. I just went too far to the right. In the wrong spot. Well, I think it's safe to say I'm going to escape from that fight. That would have been a lot of experience, but that would have also been a lot of pain and death. And also, I'm sort of going over time, so I want to get this over with. I'm going until I can save after becoming visible. Did he just throw the slime as his weapon? It's actually kind of comical. He's like, this is my weapon! Well, those things have over 17 health, apparently. But not under 40. Uh, but not over 40. Okay, so it is picking up on audio. That was a weird little drop. We're keeping your friends alive, Slime. At least for a short bit. That right there is the... That right there is the look of pure horror of seeing his friends killed. I have one left. I just went to the wrong place. I have no MP left. Thanks. Excellent. Excellent. 
Why would you go for the one defending? Alright. So here we go to become visible again. Welcome back. Of course, Madame Luca knew that what that you were coming and that you required the dude. Mm-hmm. Madame Luca never had any doubts. Truly, it was written in the dreamscape. Yes. And Millie, I'm ve also very proud of you. You you almost be very tired. Let's rest for the night. So hopefully, we get healed after this rest. Now let us begin. Uh, now on its own. The dream dew is nothing more than a refreshing sprinkle. To serve our purpose, it must be enchanted with a spell. Then all Madame Lucas must do is splash some dew over you, and the inhabitants of this world will see you at last. Wait a sec, lady. Before you do the dew thing. Before you do the dew. <laughs> Mind explaining what this world is exactly? Ah, such a thoughtful a question for such a brawny man. This world is, shall we say, different from the one you call home. Duh. You're not native to this world, and those who are not native can walk the land unseen. Madame Luca must confess, she did not think it possible for someone of your world to end up here. But what happened, happened. We cannot change what was meant to be. Now let Madame Luca do what only a dream seer can do. You will be handing over the dream do now, yes? Apparently. Butter murder. Yes, yes. Quietly casts a spell. So we're no longer... Opaque. We are now actually colored. I am done. Oh my, visibility looks good on you. Madame Luca thinks you'd better not discard that dream do. Mm -hmm. That way you'll be able to assist anyone you bump into who's in the same pickle as you. If such a person existed, of course, you'd be the only one to see them. able to see them, yes? Isn't that right, Millie? Yes, in truth, I was once just like you. No one in this world could see me. And just like you, I was saved by Madame Luca. Now everyone can see me as well. Alright, so that's why we were invisible to you. But what about you, lady? What's your story? Ah, you're just full of the questions today. Yes, Madame Luca would be a lousy dream seer if she couldn't see what cannot be seen. Seeing is believing, yes, and there are no dreams. A dream seer can't see, you see? So now this world's workings are a little more clear to you, yes? Or perhaps the truth hurts your head too much, especially yours, Muscle Man. Regardless, your next step is to take the ferry from Port Haven to Somnia and meet the king. Act now and ask questions later, yes? Madame Luca, I've decided to go with them on their journey. Mm hmm of course. Madame Luca will not be standing in your way, child. Besides, Madame Luca has done everything in her considerable power. She can give no more. Lake Carver, thank you for allowing me to accompany you. Millie joins the party officially this time. Please be looking after Madame Luca's Millie. And remember, if trouble finds you, come and find Madame Luca. The dream here's door never closes. Anytime you wish to have your fortune told, it shall be done. Okay, so basically, that she brought up an interesting point, which was... I want to see if there's anything in the wall. There's a man. Moon Mirror Tower. On the continent west of here. If I were you, I'd check it out. Okay. Thank you. Anyway. So, Madame Luca gave, brought up an interesting point with the idea that A, there may be other people. Oh, there's already, she already had a bronze knife. Can you use kilts? Nope. Uh, what was that other, the other thing? Oh, yeah. The uh, silver tiara. You can use it. This is why I decided to keep stuff around. Fur hood wouldn't do well for you. Can you equip a leather shield? No, you cannot equip shields. Alright. 
So basically what Madeluke is saying is that she's a dream seer. She can only see dreams. Are you starting to get it? No? She could see people who came from a, a world that cannot be seen by this world. And she can see dreams. Therefore, we are dreams. Of this world. That's how it works. I got the ends this way. I just walked right past the end. So now it's 45 gold because there are three people in our party as opposed to one person, which rare would be 15. Basically, this is the real world, quote unquote. We were in a dream world. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Anyway, so... I'm, I'm gonna go save. But while I'm going, I'll, I'll get the, intro, the outro. I'm done for today, everybody. Well, not today. I'm still gonna record a bit more after I get some lunch. But... I'm done for this episode. And we've done a lot today. We got Millie, we became visible... And as a result, I think we're just going to sit back and relax for a bit. <sighs> Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time. Same light time, same light channel. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, I actually am done. And it was fun. It was fun, actually. I, I kind of enjoyed it. We're getting a bit more into the story. We're... I'm gonna go see we're gonna go to Somnia now. And I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.